This video is for our friend Dylan, who started kindergarten this week, or last week, and wanted to read him a little story. Yeah. A Place Called Kindergarten by Jessica Harper and pictures by G. Brian Karras. Sorry if I'm mispronouncing. The animals in the barn were happy. The sun was rising over the oak tree, and it was time for Tommy, the boy, to come down from the big house. <laughs> he came every day. He'd bring the horse an apple and rub his dappled nose. He'd feed the sheep a biscuit and scratch her woolly back. He'd give the hen some corn and watch her sort and peck at the kernels. He'd always have a fistful of dandelions for the cow, which she considered a delicacy. Sometimes Tommy would sing to them a song about working on the railroad, and he'd throw them his ball against the wall over and over, which they'd found soothing. He always talked to them like humans, which made them feel important. On this particular day, however, Tommy did not appear at the usual time. Where can he be? asked the horse. I can't imagine, said the sheep. He always comes, whinnied the hen. Where on earth is he? wondered the cow. If you'd been there, listening to it would probably have sounded like this. Nay, cluck, moo, ba, nay, cluck, moo, ba. Just then the dog wandered by. The barn animals didn't like the dog much because he stole their food and barked an awful lot, but he knew what went on in the big house. Hey, where's Tommy today? The cow asked the dog. He usually comes when the sun rises over the oak tree. He's gone. Gone, exclaimed the sheep. Yep, gone in a big yellow bus. Well, where'd he go? asked the horse, who was quite alarmed. I heard him talking, the dog yawned. He went to a place called Kindergarten. Kindergarten? Where's that? said the barn animals almost all at once. Search me, the dog scratched an ear and then lopped off to see the garbage can was tipped enough to be unopened for a snack. The animals burst into worried conversation. Where is Kindergarten? What does it look like? What will happen to Tommy there? Will he ever come back? If you'd been there eavesdropping, it probably would have sounded something like this. Ba 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 ba, moo 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 moo, cluck 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 cluck, nay 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 nay. The sun had risen way past the oak tree and even past the barn and still Tommy did not come. The animals were quiet, pretending to be calm. The horse, who was the tallest, peeked out the window every two or three minutes. The cow patrolled the door. The sheep listened for the boy-sized footsteps, and the hen paced in circles. Finally, when the sun was dropping toward the distant cornfield, they heard him say, Hello! I'm home! Yes! bellowed the animals. All the animals laughed and truly jumped for joy. The hen even flew a little. Into the barn walked Tommy with the biggest smile ever. His once yellow t-shirt looked like someone had thrown a rainbow at it. Splat! I've been to kindergarten, he announced, and I learned lots. The animals stood at light and smiling attention as Tommy explained. Listen to this. Hey! A is for apple, that's for you. He handed the horse an apple and rubbed his nose like always. The horse smiled as much as you can when there's an apple in your mouth. B, B is for biscuit, that's for you. He gave the sheep a biscuit and scratched her curly wool till her eyes shut from the pleasure of it. C, C is for corn, said Tommy. He sprinkled the kernels at the feet of the hen, if you can call them feet, 
who happily danced and cackled and pecked. And D is for dandelions. He presented the cow with an extra big handful. She was delighted. I learned all those letters today, and there's lots more to come. Tomorrow we start on E, then F, and G, and H. H is for horse, by the way. And I finger painted a picture of worms, and we planted seeds, and Mrs. Miller taught us about the world turning. Hey, I learned a new song today. Want to hear it? Without waiting for a response from his animal audience, who were all happily chewing on things, Tommy began. When Mother Nature paints the sky, she puts a rainbow in it. Then she adds a small white cloud. It only takes a minute. Tommy sang his new song many times as he threw the ball against the wall. If you'd been there, you'd thought the animals were singing along. It sounded sort of like this. Cluck ba moo ne, cluck ba moo ne, cluck ba moo ne. When it was getting dark, Tommy was called to the big house for supper. He yelled an extra now, good night, to the animals, threw his ball in the air as high as it would go before he caught it and charged out toward the house. For a long while, his song drifted down the hill to the barn. The animals settled in. The horse nibbled hay thoughtfully. The cow slurped some water and lay down to sleep. The hen plopped cozily in her nest. The sheep was not sleepy. What do you suppose comes after H, she asked. He'll tell us tomorrow, said the horse, after he goes to kindergarten. You're going to go to kindergarten one day. That'll be some time from now.